to see the uh, food poisoning microorganisms which actually causes various food poisoning cases worldwide and india also so whatever the food poison food born poisoning microorganisms are there that are basically uh, fungus are there then viruses then uh, bacteria then rickettsia see okay, and these are the few examples which we are going to discuss now so first group uh, which is one of most important so first of all as we know that mycotoxins are but the toxins which are produced by the fungus group that is produced by the molds specifically and the yeast so in that uh, so in this session basically we are going to see in short about the toxin name the microorganism responsible for its production and the foods in which it is present or the occurred so first toxin mycotoxin that is aflatoxin so it is produced by the aspergillus flavus and aspergillus parasiticus and it is basically observed in grains which includes barley corn millets peanuts rice soya wheat etc then second mycotoxin is patulin basically this is observed in apple and the apple processed products like apple sap cider juice etc it is produced by penicillium expansum then penicillium patulum penicillium melini then penicillium claviformi then another mycotoxin that is ochratoxin this ochratoxin is produced by aspergillus ochraceus this is the important microorganism uh, one more thing i would like to add here the microorganisms which produces these toxins the listed one are not only the responsible for that there are other microorganisms also which produces these mycotoxins but i have not mentioned all of these i have just focused on the important one so the ochratoxin it is produced by the aspergillus ochraceus and it observes or occurred in corn wheat beans eggs then another mycotoxin luteoskyrin it is produced by penicillium icelandicum and it is observed in wheat oat and the other brands then stericmatocystin stericmatocystin is produced by aspergillus regulases aspergillus nidulans and aspergillus versicolor it is also present in wheat oat rice corn and the other grains then penicillic acid it is produced by penicillium perborulum then penicillium cyclopium penicillium marsensi then penicillium roqueforti and it is uh, sorry penicillium roqueforti is for the roqueforti penicillic acid it is by only penicillium perborulum penicillium cyclopium and penicillium marsensi and it is present in dried beans tobacco and its processed food products then roqueforti it is produced by the penicillium roqueforti and it is basically observed in blue cheese then roqueforti cheese then stilton cheese so these are the mycotoxins now i i would like to add few things about the mycotoxins here keep in mind these all mycotoxins are basically found in uh, low water activity containing foods like the grains then uh, the imf foods also that is intermediate moisture foods okay now the another category that is viruses through food basically three to four viruses are spread uh, in that first one that is hepatitis it is produced by the hepatitis virus and it is basically present in milk and the beverages or the liquid foods there are other virus that is poliomyelitis the microorganism is poliovirus 
and the foods in which it is present milk and other beverages the norwalk viruses the microorganisms are basically the norwalk viruses itself they causes viral diarrhea and the, basically it is present in various liquid foods okay like milk beverages also water and the other uh, like uh, soup okay so and specifically it is uh, it, it is found in the highly contaminated liquid foods and specifically uh, if the food is processed in unhygienic manner suppose the person is having uh, these diseases and if he um handling the foods improperly then there are great chances to spread this virus based uh, diseases to the another human being then rickets yes and that first one is the sorted rocky mountain fever okay it is uh, the epidemic typhus okay and it is basically produced uh, caused by the rickets yes the other rickets yes based disease that is q fever and it is caused by the coxiella burnetti we know that this is the uh, one of indicator microorganism of milk pasteurization so this coxiella burnetti is present in milk which causes q fever then another group that is parasites so in parasites basically we will go through only two important parasitic uh, poisonings the first one is ciguatera poisoning which is observed in fish feed uh, fish uh, which are fed on uh, ling by majuscula plankton so this is basically a uh, seaweed okay and if that uh, particular fish consumes that ling by majuscula plankton then the microorganisms in the uh, fish gut okay basically um, they causes the uh, poison production process in their stomach and if we uh, consume that fish then we also get infected then another uh, one of most important parasitic poisoning is scombroid poisoning uh these kind of uh, scombroid poisoning incidences are widely happen in japanese cuisine foods because uh, whatever the kind of fishes are there which are used in the japanese food preparation like tuna mackerel and etc they are basically having um, these kind of poisoning incidences now the reason is very simple uh, these microorganisms uh, sorry these fishes okay Uh, especially tuna mackerel skipjack and the bonito okay so these kind of uh, uh, fishes are having some microorganisms in their gut and that microorganisms are actually produces histamine in a large quantity okay and if we consume that fish then we get infected by the histamine okay and we know that the histamine is one of the causing factor for the allergic reactions and that leads to the poisoning and the further complications in that person okay so this is about this comrad poisoning now another group that is bacterial in bacterial uh, one of most important that is botulism uh, it is produced by the Uh, botulism this is actually a disease botulism is a disease which is caused by the botulin okay and that botulin toxin is produced by the clostridium botulinum okay and it is mostly happened in canned foods because this clostridium botulinum is a is an obligatory bacteria okay that means it produces the toxin only in absence of oxygen or in anaerobic condition so that's why the canned foods are only the examples for this then staphylococcus poisoning the staphylococcus poisoning it is by the staphylococcus aureus microorganism and it is basically present in custard cream field bakery products poultry products ham egg fish etc uh, i will say here 
more specifically the liquid foods uh, and the animal origin foods are having the incidences of staphylococcus aureus poisoning then third one is that is salmonellosis so it is basically caused by the salmonella group of microorganisms which include salmonella typhi salmonella typhi marium then salmonella london salmonella panama these are based on the location and uh, we know that salmonellosis or the salmonella are basically present in liquid food or the water based foods okay then another microorganisms another uh, bacteria clostridium perfringens okay and basically it causes the gastroenteritis okay and the clostridium perfringens and the welchi is the uh, subspecies which is basically having this kind of poisoning okay and it is present in raw foods meat poultry fish etc then vibrio group of organisms which is having basically vibrio parahemolyticus and vibrio cholerae where which is present in mostly seafoods oyster shrimp then blue crabs etc we know that these vibrio are basically causing the cholera in human beings then uh, enteropathogenic in that uh, first and most important that is e coli enteropathogenic e coli eec is usually called so this causes basically travelers diarrhea then uh, it is a cytotoxin also it causes blood diarrhea okay so not all of the e coli is are the bad but only uh, this that is ent enteropathogenic e coli is harmful for the human beings then another uh, bacteria that is bacillus cereus which causes gastroenteritis and basically the diarrhea okay it is present in custard then cereal based products then uh, another microorganism is ersinia enterocolitica it is basically present in intestinal secretion of animals okay this is very important and when that secretion is getting mixed with the foods then uh, we are um, getting in touch with that particular toxin then campylobacter in campylobacter basically campylobacter jejuni is there which causes the gant uh, gastroenteritis then listeria monocytogen which causes the listeriosis and uh, basically this listeria monocytogen is present in milk and milk based products and also water and nowadays the fsca has also recommended to go for the compulsory or the mandatorily microbial examination of the listeria monocytogen but still it is not uh, the mandatory one it is just recommendation to go for the listeria monocytogen detection in the pasteurized milk okay. then the another uh, bacteria is eromonas hydrophilia so it is uh, causing the food borne diarrhea and uh, that's it about the uh, various toxins in short uh, i would i will just uh, add one thing here if you wanted to see these all food borne poisoning microorganisms in detail then you just put it in the comment so that we can go for that too okay till then thank you do your study thank you thanks for watching kindly subscribe our channel and like the video if you like thank you